بسم الله والحمد لله ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الله وعلى اله واصحابه ومن والاه everybody hear me طيب اليوم نبدا الدرس الثالث before that i was asked the last lesson about the sentence was bilal ibn hamidin i think he was injured to ask me the, the bilal should it be one dhamma or two dhammas the answer is uh, it should be <clears throat> even though the name has two dhammas but when it comes in this situation for ibn then it would take one dhamma okay just a clarification طيب uh, الدرس الثالث uh, so it's a conversation between أحمد وعلي <coughs> طيب أندريت if you'd like to read the part of أحمد and uh, this uh, قاسم here he can be read the part of علي كم طالبا في فصلكم يا علي؟ في فصلنا أربعة عشر طالبا. الطلاب في فصلنا أكثر فيه تسعة عشرة تسعة عشرة تسعة عشرة طالبا يا علي ما اسمه ما اسم لا فيه تسعة عشرة طالبا. Uh, yeah, not yeah. The, so let me stop. Okay. He's not. He's not saying Ya Ali about this. This is ne- next sentence. Ya Ali, you. Masmut talibil inam. Tafadal. Ya Ali, you. Masmut talibil jadid alladhi jaa amsi. Ismuhu Usama. Huwa tawilun jiddan. Alaysa kathalika? Ala. Huwa tawilun. جدا ولكن عامد اطول من انه اطول طالب في فصل طالب انه اطول طالب انه اطول طالب في فصلنا ومن اطول طالب في فصلكم اطول اطول طالب في فصلنا ابراهيم نعم أدفترك آه هذا يا أحمد إن حد إن خطك جميل جدا جميل جميل جدا ما شاء الله شكرا يا علي خطي جميل وخطك أجمل من هذا الفتى الذي معك يا أحمد كأنه أخوة أخوك 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 كأنه أخوك نعم نعم هو أخي الشقيق الشقيق هو أخي الشقيق so there would be a a a فتحة عن يا because لإلتقاء الساكنين أم أخي الشقيق تفضل سوري أم أكبر منك هو أم أصغر هو أصغر منا مني مني نعم في أي مجه في أي محجة ما في أي محجة أنت يا أخي أنا في المحجة الخامس وهو بعيد جدا عن المدرسة أنا في المحجة الثامن وهو ثامني ثامني وهو أبعد من محجعكم من محجعيكم من من محجعيكم أي أيهما أحسن المحجع الخامس الخامس أحسن أحسنوا أحسنوا فإن 
غرفه اوسع ف... فان غرفه غرفا فان غرفه اوسع ونوافذه اكبر ومريح ومراح ومراحيذه انظف والسرر التي فيه اجمل جميل جيد ممتاز آه. طيب تسعة عشرة طيب في in this lesson we're going to be learning okay so we've mentioned in and we said in wa akhawatuha um, in and its likes and from the likes of in the first one we done was what la'alla was la'alla jayid so we done in uh, to feed the tawqid and la'alla to feed the tarajji wal ishfaq so in this lesson we're going to be doing two more so we're going to be doing ka'anna ka'anna and we'll be doing uh, sorry we'll be doing la kinna la kinna naam so first of all so ka'anna wa la kinna min akhawati inna that they're from the likes of inna meaning that they make the ism mansub and the khabar majroor with a dhamma so for example uh, for an example we could say uh say ka'anna ka'anna al mas ka'anna al masjida ka'anna al masjida madrasatun naam ka'anna al masjida madrasatun wa huna ka'anna tufidu mada tufidu at tashbih tufidu at tashbih okay so what does tashbih mean anybody know resemblance resemblance naam when you liken something to something else so we would say what if we if you to say ka'anna al masjid madrasatun we are saying like the mosque is like a madrasa wa al masjid ism ka'anna mansub ala mutanasbihi fathatun zahiratun ala akhirihi wa madrasa is marfu' khabaru ka'anna marfu' alamatu raf'ihi dhammatun akhiratun dhammatun zahiratun ala akhiri naam so um yeah in what way do they resemble each other or is it or do you have to specify that it depends whatever the I can't give you a reason now because it's just out of my head. Like maybe because it's there's lots of teaching going on. Maybe it looks like, maybe it looks like a, a madrasa, and not a masjid. Can al masjid a madrasa tun? So it leaves it open. Yeah, for whatever you are resembling it to. Yeah. Like for example, um, we could say, can Muhammadan Ka'anna Muhammadan Akhi I'm oh, sorry Ka'anna Muhammadan Akhi like Muhammad It's like Muhammad is like He's like my brother That could be for any reason Maybe he looks like me Or any other reason Behavior, characteristics Taib Uh can somebody just give me a, uh, another example of ka'anna? Give you your own sentence. Uh, 
like for example we have uh, in the Quran where Allah says كَأَنَّهُمْ حُمَرٌ كَأَنَّهُمْ حُمَرٌ ما معنى هذا؟ They are like donkeys They are like donkeys نعم Allah says كَأَنَّهُمْ حُمَرٌ مُسْتَنْفِرَ فَرَّتْ مِنْ قَصْوَرَ نعم They are like donkeys like uh, نعم فَرَّتْ مِنْ قَصْوَرَ that they are fleeing like they are like donkeys fleeing from a lion فَرَّتْ so نعم so I know when when the Prophet was describing the faces of the angels when they come down كَأَنَّ وُجُوهَهُمْ أَشْشَمْسُ كَأَنَّ وُجُوهَهُمْ أَشْشَمْسُ yeah I'm, I'm not familiar with the hadith that's certain, yeah? Uh, I mean, uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, all right. <laughs> Anyone else got an example? Okay. So is that understood, yeah? Ka'anna. To feed the tashbi, that the, the, the benefit of ka'anna is that when we use it, it, it gives the meaning of, of uh, resemblance. Now, so here we clearly see in action كأن المسجد مدرسة. Also, لكن and we say لكن تفيد الاستدراك تفيد الاستدراك. Now, so لكن Obviously, it translates most of the time as, uh, well, it translates as but, yeah? Translate as but. For example, Muhammadun, uh, if we would say Muhammadun, Mujtahidun. Walakinna, we say Walakinna, Hamidan. وَلَكِنَّ حَامِدًا كَسْلَانُ وَلَكِنَّ حَامِدًا كَسْلَانُ So here we clearly see حامد is خبر لكن and كسلان is uh, sorry حامدًا is اسم لكن and كسلان is خبر لكن So it would be منصوب with the فتحة because it's اسم لكن and with the ضمة because it is خبر لكن ولكن الله uh, let me think of some anyone can give me an example of لكن ولكن أكثرهم لا يؤمنون الله says ولكن أكثر أكثر الناس لا يؤمنون طيب is is this understood? Yeah, it's just as in a just different word. Okay, Jade. Also, as a side point, we got la with the shadda here. Sometimes you will see uh, in the Quran and other way and other we will see la kin without the shadda, and we say la إذا خففت بطلت عملها وتدخل على الجملة الإسمية والفعلية. We say that لكن that when it is lightened, it literally means when it's lightened, i.e. because uh, uh, because a شدة like bring it, it's like they say it makes the word uh, the letter or the word heavy by adding another letter. Because that's what a shadda does. When you put a shadda on a word, it adds another letter to the word. Um, so we say, إِذَا خُفِّفَتْ When it's lightened, I, and we take away the shadda, and we just say, لَكِن Then, بَطَلَتْ عَمَلُهَا Its actions become null and void. So if we were to say the same sentence here, like, مُحَمَّدٌ مُجْتَهِدٌ لَكِن حَامِدٌ 
Kesslernu. So its actions, it does no longer affect the words that come after it. So we would say, Lakin Hamidun Kesslernu. And also, Lakinna, uh, we have two types of sentences in Arabic. We have Jumla, which is Ismiya, and we have Jumla, which is Fi'liya. So a jumla ismiya obviously is the sentence that begins with a noun, like here, Muhammadun, and a jumla fi'liya is the is the sentence that begins with a verb. So for example, we would say Zahaba Hamidun ila da da da. So that would be jumla ismiya. Uh, so lakinna, so when it's lightened, where lakin, then it enters, we can start both of these sentences with lakin we can we can we can say uh we can start yeah so we, we could start the sentence with lakin and then a ism and then we can start a sentence with lakin and then a verb after it as well type but uh but i see because lakin lakinna will only come before a verb it never comes before nouns and that's the same as like uh noun is that clear? What is lacking? Oh, lacking, huh? What is lacking? What is benefit? Oh, we said here, tofidul istidrak. It's istidrak. It's so it just its meaning is is but like you know, Muhammad al Mujtahidun. Muhammad is uh, hard working, but Hamid is, is lazy. طيب, so, so we've studied inna wa akhawatuha from inna wa akhawatuha and its likes. We've studied la'alla and ka'anna and la'kinna. Also in the lesson, we're going to be covering the rule of um, the rule of Ismu Ismu Tafdil Ismu Tafdili, and that generally translates as superlatives. And we say Ismu Tafdil is uh, Al Wazni Al Wazni Afalu. Um, superlatives. So, for example, we have the word. Uh, sorry, we have the word here. We have the word. Kabirun. And when we change it to ism tafdil ala al wazni afalu, we say akbaru. We say uh, uh, akbaru. Um, if you can see that it's on the same pattern as afalu. Akbaru. So if I write here, Sagirun, uh, Abdul Qayyum, what would be the ism tafdil of Sagir, the superlative? Asghar. We would say Asgharu. Asgharu. So Sagir means small. So Asgharu means? Smaller. Smaller. Or it could also mean the smallest as well. Well, no. Depending on how we say it. So, akbaru kabir, big or great, and we have akbaru. Kabir, akbaru. And then we have. Uh, Afwan, for akbaru, does it mean uh, greatest or greater? It can mean greater, or it can mean the greatest, or it can mean the largest, depending on the sentence. Obviously, if we say Allahu Akbar, then it means Allah is not only is He is the biggest and He is the greatest. Now, Tawilun, so Andrit, what would be the superlative? Atwila and Atwilu. Atwalu, sorry, Atwalu. Now, so it'd be Atwalu. So tall, and then we have Atwalu, taller. Naam. So, so generally, uh, the ism tafdil, these, 
they will be uh, they will be mudaf and the word that comes after them will be majroor bil idafa would be mudaf in English. So for example, if you would say Muhammadun akbaru akbaru talibin fil fasli. So Muhammad is the biggest. It could be oldest as well. Akbaru talibin fil fasli. He's the biggest student in the classroom. So akbar would be mudaf. And Taribin is Mudafun Ilay. So the, the word after it is Mufrat as well. Even though you, you translate it as plural. I oh, no, it's a deep name. Don't worry. I translated wrong. Sorry? I was because we said um Akbaru Talibin. I was thinking it's the biggest out of the students, but it's the biggest student. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but obviously the meaning means that he is the biggest out of all the students. Akbar al Talibin. No, because Talib, he is a Talib. Who Akbar al Talib? Fil Fasli. Taib, then we have the two superlatives. We have Khairun, which aren't on this pattern. Uh, we have Khairun, and then we have Sharrun. Uh, so obviously, Khairun means better. Sharrun means the worst, or it could be the best or the most evil. As we mentioned before uh, in the last book, the ayah, where Iblis said to Allah, Qala ana khairun minhu. And he says, I am better minhu than him. خَلَقْتَنِي مِن نَارٍ وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِن طِينٍ Created him from, uh, he created me from fire. خَلَقْتَنِي مِن نَارٍ And then he خَلَقْتَهُ مِن طِينٍ فَخَلَقْتَهُ مِن طِينٍ And he created him from clay. And then شَرٌ You can say هَذَا شَرُّ النَّاس فِي العالم. This is the most evil person in the in the world. As-salatu khayrun min an nawm Another example. So those are the two main things. Or I think we're going to be doing al-a'dad al-tartibiyya. No, al-a'dad al-murakkaba maybe. Um, so we've done inna wa akhawatuha. And in, in this lesson we'll be doing ka'anna and lakinna. And the other main rule is ism al-tafdeel so memorize the title ism al-tafdeel ala al-wazni af'alu so superlatives on the pattern of af'alu so if we go back to the text now we read through it uh, quickly so we have kam taliban fi faslika ya fi faslikum ya aliyu how many students are in your class? Oh, Ali, fi faslina arba'ata ashara taliban. In our classroom, there are arba'ata ashara taliban. There are 14 students. At-tullabu fi faslina aktharu. Elias, ma ma'ana hada? In our classroom, there are 14 students. لا 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 الطلاب في فصلنا أكثر. The students in our classroom are a lot. No, that would be كثير. Oh, that means. أكثر. So we have كثير, and then the اسم تفضيل will be أكثر. So the students in our class are more a lot. Not more a lot. They are they are more. They are more. نعم. They are more. So this is أكثر. نعم. أكثر. So كثير is a lot. أكثر. More. جيد. Uh, فيه تسعة عشر طالبا. So carry on, Elias. In it, there are 19 students. 19 students. يا علي ما اسم الطالب الجديد الذي جاء أمس. Oh, Ali, what is the name of the new student? Um, that came yesterday. 
MC yesterday. طيب اسمه أسامة. His name is أسامة. نعم. أبو حمزة. هو طويل جدا. He's very tall. نعم. جدا. هو طويل جدا. He's very tall. أليس كذلك؟ Isn't that so? Is that not so? Okay. So then he answers with uh, بلا. So with the word أليس. Or the term Alaysa. We've done uh, Alaysa last lesson and we said that its benefit is negation and nefi. But in this sentence, when we say, for example, Alaysa kadharika, is that not so? Um, then the answer, if we wanted to say yes, we have to say bala, which means yes. But if we want to say no, we would say na'am. We wouldn't say la, we say na'am. So if I said to uh, if I said to Endrit, uh, Anta Endrit, Alaysa Kadarik, that you are Endrit, Alaysa Kadarik, and he said na'am, then I would understand understand that to be no. That he would have to say bala. So for example, when Allah asks the rhetorical question in the Quran, أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين Is not Allah the best of all the judges? We would say بلا نعم So we hear, we hear this question it's, we, it's mentioned a lot in the Quran أليس الله بكاف عبدا نعم So is that understood? So, yes. so, so Bala, it, you could translate as like, of course, or, or, yeah, so Bala, if we answer with, we answer with Bala, and for Nafi, we would say Naam, we say Naam, shaking our heads. طيب, so he says, Bala, huwa tawilun jiddan. Naam, Andrit, ma ma'ana hada? Yes, he is very tall. وَلَكِنَّ حَامِدًا أَطْوَلُ مِنْهُ However, Hamid is taller than him. Oh, he's translated as however. Yes. However. But Hamid, or however, Hamid is taller than him. Um, وَلَكِنَّ حَامِدًا So we see here, حَامِدًا اسم إن أَطْوَلُ مِنْهُ خبر إن لكن سوري إنه أنجت إنه أطول طالب في فصلنا. Indeed, he is a tall student in our class. Indeed, he is a tall student in our class. In our class. In our class. طيب عبد القيوم ومن أطول طالب في فصلكم؟ Uh, and from woman, woman, and from the who is the tallest in the classroom? From the student who's the tallest? No, I don't. <laughs> then that, if it was to translate like that, it would be like. So it says, وَمَنْ أَطْوَلُ طَالِبٍ And who is the tallest? Who is the tallest in the classroom? لا, لا, لا. Who is the tallest? Student. Student in, in your classroom. Now. So أَطْوَلُ طالب is مضاف مضاف إليه. Tallest student. نعم. وَمَنْ أَطْوَلُ طَالِبٍ فِي فَصْلِكُمْ In uh, the, the ayah in the Quran, وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ كَتَمَ شَهَادَةً مِنَ اللَّهِ وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ مَنَعَ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ أَنْ يُذْكَرُ فِي حَسْمُهُ أَنْ يُذْكَرُ فِي حَسْمُهُ وَسَعَ فِي خَرَابِهَا وَمَنْ أَظْلَمُ مِمَّنْ Allah says, who is more oppressive? طيب, so who's the tallest student? في فصلكم in your classroom. Uh, قاسم, he's أطول طالب في فصلنا إبراهيم. The tallest student is Ibrahim. La. Uh, sorry, the tallest student in the classroom is Ibrahim. La, la, la. Not in the classroom. In, 
Um, our classroom. In our classroom, man. Pay attention to these small, these just very small uh, details. طيب أبو حمزة أدفترك هذا يا أحمد Is this your notebook, uh, O Ahmad? No, he says, In a khattaka, in a khattaka, jameelun jiddan, ma sha allahu. Indeed, your handwriting is very uh, beautiful. No. So he says, In a khattaka, jameelun jiddan. No. So khatt is ism inna, jameelun is khabaru inna. That's why we see it mansub with a fatha. Inna khattaka jameelun jiddan. Indeed, your handwriting. So khatt is handwriting. Also, uh, khat can mean a line. See how it's all linked because you write on lines as well. Uh, and then the verb would be khatta. Uh, as from the hadith of Ibn Mas'ud when he says khatta Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khattan fil ard. The messenger, he khatta khattan tawilan fil ard. He drew a straight line wa khatta khututan an yaminihi wa yasarihi. And then he drew lines from the right of it and the left of it. Naam. Jade. So then he says, I'll see the lesson, let's see. Uh, azan. Shukran ya Aliyu. Azan. Thank you, ya Oli. Naam. Khatti jameelun. My handwriting is beautiful. Wa khattuka ajmalu. And your handwriting is uh, more beautiful. And your handwriting is more beautiful. Or you could say it's better. Naam. So, Jameel, we have the word Jameel, or al ism tafkhir, ajmalu. Naam. Now you're understanding the, uh, the meanings of some of your relatives' names, like Akbaru, Asgharu, Ajmalu, Jameelun, Ajmalu. Naam. Wa khattuka ajmalu. And your handwriting is better. Or... Naam, Jayid. Uh, Ismail. Uh, من هذا الفتى الذي معك يا أحمد Who is this boy that is with you? No, no, no boy, it's youth. Like, so he's, you know, he's, it's your age. فتى, you are فتى, a youth. Who is this youth الذي معك يا أحمد Who's with you, يا أحمد uh, إسماعيل كأنه أخوك Ismail, ما معنى هذا؟ كأنه أخوك. Is he like your brother? No, he's, he's saying كأنه أخوك. It's it's it's, like, it's as though he's your brother, because maybe he looks like him. كأن he's asking كأنه أخوك. No, he's not asking. He's saying كأنه أخوك. He's always your brother. And then he says نعم هو أخي الشقيق. Yes, he is my ashaqiq. So shaqiq is your, your blood brother. So it's his brother from his mother. Um, so ashaqiq, you say here, ukhti ashaqiqa. Um, so shaqiq is your immediate brother, your blood brother. Um, huwa akhi ashaqiqu. Taib. Andrew, then he says, Aakbaru minkahua am asgharu. Aakbaru um, minkahua am asgharu. Is he bigger than you or smaller? Naam. So he's asking, Aakbaru mink, is he bigger than you or smaller? I in age. And then he says, Hua asgharu minni. Naam. Andrew, what's my man? He's bigger. Uh, I'm not sure many, many, smaller, oh, sorry, smaller, 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 smaller than Min. me. Okay. Yeah, I'm smaller than me, mini, smaller than me, mini. No, okay, smaller yeah. than me. So when we use, when we use these, uh, these ism tafdeel as comparatives, then for example, asgharu uh, minni, we would use the harfujar, min. 
So, for example, uh, if we was to say, Akbaru min Hamid. So, if we say, Muhammadun Akbaru min Hamidin. So, Muhammad is bigger than Hamid. So, we would use this harf jar between the two as a comparative. And we wouldn't translate it from, we translate it as than. Now, that's how we would translate it. We wouldn't say from. Muhammad is bigger from Hamid. We say Muhammad is bigger than Hamid. Now, so, like, for example, when we say as salatu khayrun min an nomi means uh, the salah or the prayer is better than sleep. Taib. Uh, let me move on. Who else is there? Abu Hamza. Then he says, "Fi ayi mahjain anta ya akhi." Um, in which dormitory are you in, oh brother? No, oh, my brother. No. So those who were in book one, mahja is like a dormitory where the students live. As the books are based usually based around the lives of the the students in the jamia, at least no, the jamia. أنا في المهجع الخامس وهو بعيد جدا عن المدرسة. كيرنا أبو حمزة. Um, I am from the fifth uh, dormitory and it is. Not from. I'm in. I'm in. No. I'm in uh, the fifth uh, fifth uh, dormitory and it is uh, very far from the from the from the school. From the school. And Elias, he says, "Ana fil mahjai thamani, wa huwa abadu min mahjaiikum." I am in the eighth dormitory, and uh, that is. Wa uh, huwa, and it is. And it is more far than. Further your, away is it's further than your dormitory. Further. Uh, than your dormitory. It's further than your dormitory. Yeah. طيب. And then he asks, أيهما أحسن from أحسن من uh, sorry. أحسن من حسن So حسن means good, أحسن better. So أيهما أيهما which of the two أيهما أحسن is better. So we're on about المهجع الخامس والثامن. He's asking, أيهما أحسن and then Abdul Qayyum, he says, Al-Mahja'u Al-Khamisu Ahsanu. The fifth dormitory is better. Naam. And then he explains why. Fa'inna ghurafahu awsa'u. In it, the rooms are spacious. So he says, Fa'inna. So, because indeed, ghurafahu its door is its rooms are awsa'u are yeah more spacious, more spacious. bigger so ghurafahu is ism inna carry on and then awsa'u is khabaru inna we carry on wa nawafidhahu akbaru the kitchens la 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 there's no kitchens trust me <laughs> there's no kitchens in the in the dormitories in Medina. Well, there wasn't when I was there, so. And it wasn't really a better one. When nawafidahu, so nawafid is jam'u nafidatun. The nafida. Abdul Qayyum, nafida. I forgot. Have you forgotten book one already? Nafida, window. Window, naam. Naam. Wa nawafidahu akbaru. And the windows are bigger. And its windows are bigger. <laughs> so here, nawafidahu is ism inna athani. It's the second ism inna. And then akbaru would be the second khabar inna. That's why nawafidahu is mansub. That's why it has a fatha. Because of inna. Because he's still putting emphasis on things. Naam. Wa marahidahu anzafu. Uh, 
مراحيض جمع مرحاض نمبا مرحاض مرحاض is the fair place isn't it لا 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 that's محراب <تصفيق> حمزة ما معنى لا حمزة زي حمزة عمر ما معنى مرحاض I can answer. Who know? Come on, Mirhad, anybody? Toilets. Toilets, toilets. Wamarahidahu. And its toilets are Andahu. Cleaner. 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 Yeah. So, Nadifun Andahu. Now, and then Wasurura Wasurura Lati Fihi Ejmalu. So, Marahida. Is ism inna a thirdith. It's the third ism inna, and andaf would be the third khabaru inna. Was surura lati fihi ajmalu, and again, so this is the fourth ism inna. Was surura lati fihi ajmalu, naam, at the qayyum. And the surur, what's the surur? Uh, is the mirror? Fiha surur marfu'a. وأكواب موضوعة سرر جمع سرير أيوة بيدز and the beds التي فيه which are in it أجمل uh, beautiful nicer nice or more beautiful أجمل yeah and then that as well والسرور التي فيه أجمل and the beds which are in it are nicer. طيب any هل من سؤال any questions about the the text? When it says um actually don't worry. When it says yeah, carry no, on. Don't worry, I, don't worry, I answered the question myself. What was your question then? Why it says fossil na, but then I realized it's kum not ka. When it says fossil kum. Okay, yeah. So he asks in plural and he answers in plural. Said, yeah. any questions on the text? So we've done ism uh, tafdil superlatives ala al wazni afalu, and we've done two isman min akhtan min akhawati inna. Two of the likes from the likes of inna, which was kaanna and la kinna. Now, any questions about that? So we'll just we'll do the exercise. طيب أجب عن الأسئلة الآتية. إلياس كم طالبا في فصل أحمد؟ في فصل أحمد أربعة عشر طالبا. نعم. So we say فيه. أربعة عشرة أربعة عشرة طالبا. It's nineteen. I was just taking his word for it because <laughs> I can't see up. Uh, so Elias. Yes. فيه تسعة فيه تسعة عشرة. طالباً. Let me get my book out. فيه تسعة عشر طالباً. نعم. طيب أبو حمزة كم طالباً في فصل علي؟ So فيه أبو حمزة فيه أربعة عشر طالباً. نعم فيه أربعة عشر طالبا فيه أربعة عشر طالبا نعم جيد 
عبد القيوم من أطول طالب في فصل أحمد؟ So we would start here. أطول طالب في فصل أحمد هو he is Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Is it Ibrahim? I think it's Hamid. Hamid. Aliyun. He is long. <coughs> no, it's Ibrahim. No, it's Ibrahim because he says, Nam. Yeah. Ahmed says, Atwal Talibim fi Fasina, Ibrahim. Nam. Ibrahim. Nam. So we would start here. We would start here by saying the answer Atwal Talibim fi Fasli Ahmada, who are Ibrahim. Nam. قاسم من أطول طالب من أطول طالب في فصل علي أطول طالب في فصل إبراهيم في فصل علي سوري uh, أوز I thought you were talking about three there. أطول طالب في فصله أحمد. Hamid. I'm sorry, Hamid. It's Hamid. He says, هو طويل جدا ولكن حامدا أطول منه إنه أطول طالب في فصلنا. نعم جيد. Homework. I would like you to find an example of إن either in the Quran or Hadith of كأن and lakinna, and you can find lakin if you want to without the shadda. And try and find a few ayahs with superlatives, what we've done. Al al wazni afaru, the ism tafdeel. Taib, halmin su'al, any questions? We'll stop there. So, any, any questions about the lesson? Yes, no. just, sorry. Yes, uh, Abu Hamza, um, for number three that we just did. Um, uh, can can we start uh, the answer with Ibrahim and say Ibrahim atwalu talibin fi fasli ahmada? Naam, jayid. That would be the answer, yeah. Or we could just say Ibrahim. No, no. I, I, uh, my question was uh, whether we could start, uh, you know, the sentence with Ibrahim. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Okay, then next. Five hundred. Uh, that was my question as well. Same question? Yeah. Wow. Okay. طيب هل من سؤال any questions? No. طيب so we'll stop there for five minutes and then we'll carry on with the fifth lesson or the fifth hadith. صلى الله على نبينا محمد آخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين.